In this video, you review how we programmed the SL2100 so that calls route to the inmail. For this example, we will use the database from an earlier video when we use the initial install wizard to program the SL2100. To begin, let's verify how the trunks are defined. Under the Quick Install link, click to expand the trunks option. Next, click to expand the Analog Trunks option. Now, click the Trunk Properties option. When we use the initial install wizard, we define the trunks as normal in both Mode 1, which is Day Mode, and Mode 2, which is Night Mode. To see how the trunks are programmed when they are defined as normal, click to expand the highlighted option. Next, click the Normal Target 1 option. In Mode 1, which is Day Mode, incoming calls go to Incoming Ring Group 1. In Mode 2, which is Night Mode, incoming calls go to Incoming Ring Group 102, which is the incoming ring group reserved for the inmail. To get the calls to overflow to the inmail, you need to check the information in Normal Target 2. Click the highlighted option. In Mode 1, which is Day Mode, the trunks go to Incoming Ring Group 102, which is reserved for the inmail. Since the inmail answers immediately in Mode 2, we made no change to that incoming ring group. You set the time when the trunks overflow to the inmail by clicking the highlighted option. Using the initial install wizard, we define 20 seconds as the time when the incoming trunk calls will overflow to the inmail. If you have to add trunks to the system after using the initial install wizard, you can use these steps from the quick install option of Easy Edit in PC Pro. That's the end of this video. Thanks for watching.